All right, here are the care instructions for the Skindapsa Silvery Ann. Uh, some people would argue that this is uh, this particular one is an Exotica. They do have the exact same care instructions, so it doesn't super, super matter. I will say, though, that uh, the grower grew these as Silvery Ann, so for that purpose, I'm just going to call it a Silvery Ann. Uh, anyway, let's start out with light. Okay, so these guys are going to do best. They're going to grow fastest in bright light but they can tolerate a more medium and even a low light situation. I like to give these characters more bright light though. One, because obviously I want it to grow just as fast as possible, but also because there's a lot of uh, variegation in the leaves. Some of these leaves are almost completely silver, like this over here, and they just don't photosynthesize as well as like the you know leaves that have a ton of green in them. Yes, it is still a, a very efficient plant as far as how well they uh, are able to photosynthesize and whatnot, but still, I just prefer to put them in a more bright light. Again, it doesn't have to be right in the window where it's receiving really, really bright light. You can back it off a little bit, uh, maybe on the lower end of bright light, um, but still, bright light nonetheless, okay? So, uh, next let's talk about watering. So in the spring and the summer months, this plant is actively growing. This is its growth season. And so you're gonna water it when it dries out about 25%, okay? Now in the winter months, when it's colder out, it goes dormant, okay? You're not gonna see as much growth or maybe no growth at all. It kind of just depends on the plant. And during that time of year, I like to let it dry out about 50% in between watering. Now remember, regardless of the time of the year that it is, we want to water thoroughly. So when the pot, for example, in the winter time, when the soil is uh, dry about 50% down, we want to soak every single <clears throat> bit of soil that's in the pot, okay? And that goes for springtime or summertime. You can water from the top, until it drains out the bottom several times over. Remember, just one time is not gonna be sufficient uh, to get really, really healthy root growth. So if you're gonna water from the top, make sure to water it, let it drain out, water it, let it drain out. Do that several times over. Remember, you can't ever overwater in terms of a quantity of water. You can only overwater in terms of a frequency. So I have lots of videos on this, so check them all out. Um, I have one here on the YouTube channel, whatnot. Um, all right, so let's next talk or next let's talk about the soil for this. So when you're going to repot it, you can repot, you know, if you've got roots coming out the bottom, that's typically a good time to know when to repot your plant. Even so, we, we're going to want to wait till springtime uh, to repot or at least do it during the summertime. You just kind of want to avoid repotting in the wintertime unless it's absolutely necessary, unless it's an emergency type situation. Um, a plant is never going to decline because of the size of pot that it's in. So even if it is root bound and say it's like in the middle of winter time, it'll be perfectly fine to just wait until the springtime to, uh, to repot it. And when I repot, I like to use a one to one ratio of houseplant soil, which is fairly moisture retentive. Uh, and I like to mix that in with something that's going to drain really well, something like a succulent soil or pumice stone, perlite, you know, sand, pebbles, whatever's going to really help uh, drain because they do want to hold on to some moisture. However, they still need to be uh, draining and, and drying out fairly, fairly quickly. So that's what I like to use. Uh, also during the spring and summer months, it's going to help if you fertilize regularly. Uh, just use a, a regular general purpose houseplant fertilizer as directed on the packaging. Um, but that's going to do it for the care instructions for the Scandapsis Silvery Ann. This would also go, you know, if you had an Exotica or even if you had um, a Silver Splash, it would be the same care instructions as well. So let me know if you have any comments or questions in the comment section below, or you can always message me on Facebook or Instagram at Tanner the Planner.